still to be shown with the Sapsky. Um, like Terry said, this is the first really big exhibition of my sculptural work in Houston. Um, and it's for my first solo exhibition of sculptural work in Houston. So I'm really excited to be having that show here at the Sapsky. Um, in my work, I've been uh, working with the figure and I've been working with the figure in clay for quite a long time. Um, when I started building ceramic sculptures and specifically figure sculptures, I was an undergraduate student at the University of Illinois. Um, I had transferred from a biology pre-medicine program and I was simultaneously studying ceramics and art history. Um, so I had a previous medical context where I was very interested in working with people, I was very interested in helping people, um, and then I had this context of art history, so I was working with material that I was simultaneously learning about in the context of, you know, the development of human society and human creativity. And so for very early on, um, this interest in the body, this study of anatomy, really easily transferred into clay. It's a material that's almost kind of wants to be skin. So it was very easy to begin making bodies, begin making people. Um, and I began to think about the body in clay as just being an extension of what I have been interested in medically. So instead of uh, stitching up people or fixing people's bodies literally, um, I was just fixing people's bodies metaphorically through art. And I'm um, talking about human imperfection and hopefully getting to a better place, getting people emotionally or philosophically to a better place. Um, in studying art history, this idea of fragmentation very quickly became important, became something I was very interested in. Um, and that's specifically because when we look at ceramic objects and we look, when we look at human history, we're often looking at fragmented things that we then have to reassemble and put together in order to get a deeper understanding of a, um, a, of a being that lived in a previous civilization or even of just a more current being from a different uh, society or a different geography. Um, I started breaking my sculptures and that quickly developed into a visual language of fragmentation that I have continued to explore to this day. Um, when I was in graduate school, architecture also became a really important visual langu language in my work. Um, I had lived in Chicago, I had lived in the Dominican Republic, um, and so being in a place where I didn't have uh, an architecture that was, you know, kind of really uh, descriptive of the society that I was in. I was living in a smaller town, um, so all of this architecture started to come out. And so fragmentation and architecture are, um, you know, kind of conceptually different uh, visual languages that I have explored and that I have combined uh, over the course. Are two visual languages that I have explored in my work and that I have um, explored and tried to combine through a variety of different media. So my primary body of work are sculptures, and specifically figure sculptures, um, but I also make drawings where I work with coffee and charcoal and pencil and all of these, and ink, all of these different materials that I like to combine together to create a similar sort of hodgepodge or sort of myriad um, that begins to reflect more of a psychological or emotional uh, diversity or complexity. Um, I also enjoy doing photographs, which is a more recent body of work that I made about a year ago. Um, and in those photographs, I was working with models and I was building clay uh, architectural components onto their bodies. And so that extension of the body into uh, a photographic realm was very exciting to me. Um, in these particular pieces, all of these works were made over the summer, so this summer 2019. Um, so they're all very new works. Um, there are a couple of things I was really excited to explore with this body of work. So, so in these pieces, um, fragmentation and architecture um, are still very relevant. There's still this visual language that I'm continuing to explore. Um, a couple of things that I was really interested in doing with this body of work was getting back to ceramics. So I had done a lot of photography, and so I wanted to take the things that I had learned from that body of work and reapply it to these ceramic sculptures. Um, and I wanted to revisit sculpting the figures, the sculpting heads and hands and feet and body parts, and then mixing those things that are more identifiable with more abstract forms. So the pieces in the bodies uh, that are more um, cylindrical or more geometric looking, and all of the scaffolding in the body begins to reference architecture, and specifically this idea of either being held up or of beginning to disintegrate. Um, I enjoy keeping that visual language a little more um, abstract, and what I mean by that is that it's difficult to ascertain whether the figure is actually successfully standing up on their own, or whether that process of disintegration is just beginning. Um, and that's kind of up to you individually as the viewer to decide. Um, ultimately, I'm really um, very interested in finding beauty in that 
the process of either maintenance or disintegration and um, really affirming that sort of uh, humanist notion of beauty and imperfection. Um, these newer pieces are made uh, in one piece or in some cases they're made in two pieces in order to fit into a kiln. Um, and so in that case there's a little bit of glue, uh, a little bit of uh, very strong grade epoxy that holds the pieces together. Um, but for the most part they're all built in one piece. Yeah. Um, and that was something I was interested in exploring, um, in part because there's also a certain kind of messiness that happens when you're making all of these materials and then using this really thick ceramic slip to put them all together. Um, all of that goopiness and kind of messiness is a visual aesthetic that I was really interested in exploring. And that I felt like I wasn't quite achieving with the cleaner, kind of crisp, glued 